Hey everyone, this is a quick video to illustrate the use of Notion as a rewire instrument feeding MIDI data into tracks in Studio One 3. So I'll quickly go over the setup and then I'll let you hear what it sounds like. So the important thing, of course, in using a rewire instrument is that um, the Notion itself has to be set up as a rewire tool. And you do that in Notion preferences under audio. You make certain that this enable rewire checkbox is marked. That may require you to authorize uh, the application and restart Notion. And then the important thing is that you start the host application first, that's Studio 1.3 in this case, and then you open the rewire application, which in this case is Notion. So once that's done, what you do is you set up keyboards in Studio 1. Go to Studio 1 Preferences, and you create new external devices. Uh, you do this by clicking on the Add button and you select new keyboard. You make certain that it's a keyboard in this case. And all a keyboard is is a MIDI input device. So in this case the MIDI input device is actually going to be the MIDI data coming out of the tracks, the staffs in Notion, being viewed as a keyboard feeding MIDI data into the tracks in Studio One. So I've set up uh, the, all the different sections. In this case, I have uh, five sections. Violins one, violins two, violas, cellos, and basses. I have those five keyboards, which correlate to the five staffs in the composition in Notion, feeding MIDI, MIDI data. And then when you do that, you can assign an instrument, basically a Vienna Ensemble instrument, to each track. And each track is then set to receive information from those instruments that I created. So the, in this case, Violins 1, Section A, is going to receive MIDI data from Violins 1, Channel 2, which is the keyboard that I set up. And so it will play instruments that are on the second voice of the first staff in Notion. To prepare Notion to feed this MIDI, MIDI data out, what you do is you go to Score Setup in Notion and you create new external MIDI devices or staffs. It's really the same thing in Notion. And so what I did to create these staffs, which are currently not seen in the score, is I went to External MIDI, MIDI port A, and selected subsequent channels for each staff, a separate MIDI channel for each external MIDI instrument. And so what Notion is doing when you use change instrument is you can assign each staff to play to a particular MIDI instrument. Right here are all my MIDI instruments. MIDI out, violins one, violins two, violas, cellos, basses. So you can assign the staff to play out to those MIDI external instruments. You can tell it which voices all voices, voice one or voice two, if you have Divisi. Uh, and you can tell it what MIDI channel to use. So you see what I've done here is I've assigned each voice in each staff to a specific MIDI out external instrument and to a specific channel. So Tutti instruments on staff one are playing to MIDI out violins one channel 1. 
If I move on down here, you'll see that for Divisi, I've split those out to violins one, channel two, and violins one, channel three. Similarly for staff two, for the violins two section, the first voice is going out to MIDI um, channel five. The second voice is going out to MIDI channel six. And Tutti voice is going out to MIDI channel four. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And that's how I've set up the MIDI channel outputs. That corresponds in my Studio One setup in my Vienna Ensembles to the appropriate setups for each section. So Violins 1 Tutti, for instance, has eight dimension strings players, players one through eight. Those are all of the dimension strings players available in Vienna Instruments dimension strings. The Violins 1 Section A, Vienna Ensemble, has only half of those, players 1, 2, 3, and 4. And you'll probably guess Violins 1 Section B has the other half, players 5, 6, 7, 8. What's important here to understand as a concept is that in a typical rewire application, rewire was really designed for feeding audio signal from the rewire application into the host application. We're not doing that in this case, I'm doing something differently. What I'm doing is I'm simply feeding, I'm using the MIDI data that's coming out of these staffs and I'm using that to play the instruments that have been set up in Studio One. You're not going to see any piano roll notes you're not going to see any audio wave information here. All you're going to do is you're going to hear the instruments in Studio One being played by the MIDI output from Notion. And that's important to understand. It's, it's different than a typical rewire setup. And in fact, the only thing rewire is really doing is it's synchronizing the tempo information from Studio One to Notion. Uh, you'll notice that I do have some tempo changes that I've plugged in to correspond to the tempo that I want to hear in the performance. So I've plugged that tempo information into Studio One. So let's give this a listen and hear what it sounds like.
All right, so that sounded okay. There are some audio glitches you probably heard, um, which we'll need to be um, paid attention to. Obviously, um, it's not quite a perfect uh, recording, but um, the important thing here is that you now have uh, any number of options and ways to work with this MIDI data. You could record the tracks, and what this is doing is recording MIDI piano roll information. So now what you have are, is the uh, actual, basically an export um, or recording of all of the MIDI information that was encountered uh, from the output in Notion, recorded into Studio One. You could start working with that data. You could also add automation tracks uh, and record um, CC change data, which would impact either the original MIDI data coming from the tracks or the MIDI piano roll information that has been recorded on them. So you can now start working in a more traditional DAW environment on all of this information to polish your recording and prepare it for final, uh, for a final master. So I hope this has been helpful and useful.